Exclamation everybody and welcome back to the spatials. Um, so, got a few more things that we can do on our list here. First of all, got a few, uh, we need, we need more gems. Uh, we are, we're still rather low on the gem front here. Uh, so we'll want to make sure that we, uh, try to find some planets with that on it. Um, as well, I think we're pretty well good with everything else. It looks like we're getting plenty of spores now. Uh, we are still running low on helium. Um, so we'll have to, we'll have to look for some of that too in our, in our travails around the universe. Um, before we do that though. I kind of want to flesh out this little area a little bit more. Uh, so if we go to the corridors here, first of all, let's drop the walls down so I can see what I'm doing. So we go back to the corridor here and we say, let's come out this way a bit. Right. Or should I go? Yeah, I guess this way is good. Um, I kind of want to have a another spaceport up here, just a small one, uh, you know, Pack them in a little bit, as as you were, as it were. Uh, so let's do that. Let's put a little spaceport up here, just big enough to get a port in there and maybe some decorations. Uh, so I'll have my guys go off and do that, and then I want to let's see. We could we have a hospital here. We have a little place for them to stand there. We've got some rooms there. We don't have any suites over here so I guess we could make a private suite just a small one you don't really have to be that big to begin with um, actually what was, what was the other one up there oh, that's a hospital okay <laughs> suddenly not recognizing anything um, so if I just make a little offshoot here I should be able to put that suite down I would imagine Right here, just a, again, just a nice little small one. All right, like that. That that's good. I mean, I, it's gonna have two. It's not gonna be even. It's gonna have these two out of it. But that's okay. Um, so we've got that. Uh, a hollow area would probably be a good thing too. But before we do that, let's see if I can get another like small bar in here, maybe. It's going to be a very small bar, <laughs> extremely small, but let's see if I can see if I can shirk that in here a bit. Yeah, like that, maybe <laughs> very, very strapped for, for space right now. And uh, apparently all my guys are really, really busy because none of them are working on this. So I might have to hire a few more people. I'm going to have to do it anyway, so. I guess better now than never, but let's uh, let's just flesh this out some more up here, and then up over here, I want to put a let's put another uh, where the hell is it corridor? Let's put another corridor here like this, and then uh, put a not a spa, although that would be kind of nice. Uh, let's put a boutique here, a bigger one than what we've had in the past. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, remove floor, remove floors, right there, boutique, boutique, where are you, um, that's a bistro, here we go, put a boutique, right, it's, yeah, because that's the one that's got a bunch of stuff in it, uh, we'll put another boutique over here, uh, it's gonna be, yeah, I guess that, about that size, and then we'll continue the corridor down this way and actually we'll just continue the corridor all the way over to this side like this and hopefully I can have another offshoot there. That should keep my, my people busy for a little bit, although they are kind of tied up it looks like. It looks like they're all making food, uh, which is probably the better use of their time right now anyway. So given that, uh, if I come over to, this is, what is this, level 27, which we just unlocked uh, I think two episodes ago. What kind of uh, recruits can we get out here? Level 18 people? Alright, let's do that. Let's hire these people for our for our purposes and uh, let them go off and do some construction work around the place for now. 
and then eventually we'll try to level them up I suppose. Speaking of leveling people up, uh, I should get SG2 and 3 out, out and about in the world. What are they up to level wise? We've got, uh, looks like SG2 is up to level 22 and SG3 is at level 21. Alright, so we're going to do a level 22, that's, that's hard mode. Uh, so it's not really going to work for them. Uh, we can do... Well, I guess we'll just have them do a level 20... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have them do level 21 routine looting. And I'll have them do that. It's, it's, it's kind of beneath them, but it's the best I can do right now. So send them off for that. And then we got a bunch of level 21 people who can do the level 20 thing. So we'll say a you and a you and a you shall go do your thing, please and thank you. All right. So are we getting we're getting a little bit more progress here, looks like. So I'll let these guys do their do their worst. And I am going to head on over and take SG-1 out for a little spin. So we've got level 27. We haven't done anything in here yet. We do need these gems. Uh, we also need the uh, helium, which I think is on here. I want to see if this one... <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for it to float back around here. That does not have gems on it. It does have the helium that we need. So I think we'll go here first. Um, and then we could do the quest area, which has some gemstones and other things that we need. So let's do that right now. Do a normal good old bounty mission. All right. We've done plenty of these up to this point, although this is the first time doing it in level 27. Destroy the cannon, it says. Okay. So let me get my, let me get my fingers on the number keys here so we get, uh, we get a little bit ready for the onslaught that shall... But shall wreck our faces if we're not careful. These are all melee. Yeah, these guys are going to come after me. And you shall die, and you shall die. All right. Oh, we got <laughs> we got the Kirbians. Ooh, this is going to be great. Wow, those guys took a lot of health out. Holy hell! <laughs> oh, they took uh, this guy's. He's his blaster is. <laughs> drains energy like no tomorrow but he's also not very good with the health we're gonna have to do something for him I gotta make gotta remember that my was he the engineer yeah I gotta remember that the engineer needs not the engineer uh, whatever he is the green guy the green guy needs some loving oh, that's not what I wanted to hit four and then five all right so now we come on over here and we say two, and we go nope, two, and then kablamo. That did nothing because I didn't hit anybody. Let's wait a second here before we try that again. <laughs> uh, or seven seconds, as, as the case may be. All right, so two, and there we go. That's more like it. And I pissed all of them off. But they're all very low health now. Excellent. So let's take these these places out. Excellent. All right. Oh, this guy's now now angry. Don't be angry. Okay. And yep, yep. Okay. Oh, bunch more here. Eliminate the concurbians. Cucurbians. I'm sorry. They are, they are cucumbers. I keep saying con Kirby and I don't know why. I just, <laughs> that's just my, 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 my tongue getting in the way of, of things as it, as it tends to do. All right. One and uh, one, one of you guys wants, uh, wants a piece of me. Any of you guys want, no, you're out of range. Um, all right. I think we can come down a little bit closer. And we can do a two. Like that. Piss off those guys. We'll do a one. Take that guy out. 
from long from downtown. And that guy as well. Over here we do a two and go blammo and a one. And the one recharges really quickly, so that's why I'm using it a lot. Alright. Whoops. He, he knows about us. <laughs> He's on his way. Very good. Okay. Destroy the air vent. Oh, this is something different. Okay. I uh, will do these things. Whoops. This guy. Already. And. Yeah, Alright. So we're, we're, we're fighting smarter now. Which is good. Fight smarter, not harder. <laughs> uh, as the as the book that does not exist says the book that shall not be named uh, and two and that and almost almost there alright we got that other task completed our uh, SG-1 or 2, I guess SG-2 probably, since I sent them out first. And they work fast. <laughs> they're good workers, good hard workers, that's why they're SG-2 and not SG-1. Uh, this guy, Deacon guy here. So do this and do that, and then let's back up a little bit and get some health and some energy. There we go. And a one, and a two, and then let's just take them on directly. Need some health in there. Excellent. See, I played that one a lot smarter than I've done in the past. <laughs> very, very happy about that. Okay, okay. And although it was a little bit more, I guess a little bit clumsier too. But clumsy and smart sometimes go hand in hand. Okay, so we've done what we can here. I was looking around just briefly there to see if there's anything else, any, uh, you know, rare artifacts or anything al along the way. So I'll let them rest for a moment, because I think this is almost done. Oh yeah, they're, they're still working on it, but it's, we got a few things here. So if I go over to Zebar, and I say I want, well, I want a little bit of a dance floor, so we can put a dance floor right here on the edge living on the edge you can't stop yourself you can't stop yourself from falling because <laughs> you're living on the edge um put the light column here and we'll put like a little table right here um and I guess another drink counter facing this way, perhaps. Alright. So that should be good for that bar, I would say. Hopefully they can build that other dance floor piece. I would imagine they can, because it's not really that obstructed. <laughs> uh, but we'll see, in a, we'll see in a few minutes here when my guys get around to it. Um, all right, so next one is our suite. We'll do as we normally do. We'll put the bed here, and we'll put the shower over here. And uh, actually, I, I guess I could put... No, you can't put two beds in there, can you? It won't let me do it, right? No. <laughs> I thought so. Will let me put two showers in there? It will let me put two showers in there. That's interesting. All right, well, we'll do that. Why not? <laughs> One bed, two showers. I'm sure that's some kind of video on the internet. <laughs> um, and we'll put a lamp over here just to enhance the mood lighting, as it were. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to build that other one. That might be obstructed, huh? Hmm. Hmm. It looks like is it, is it not down? Yeah, it's not down. They they don't really want to do that. Uh, all right, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, well, uh, where's where's my where's my thing at? Uh, where where? <laughs> Here, no, that's arcade bar. There it is, bar. Um, I guess we'll 
Um, I, mm, I don't know. Uh, I, I mm, think maybe. Uh, I guess only having one there is fine. Why not? Just have one there. Or you know what? I can remove this. I'll have them do the one on the on the furthest end, and then do the one on the closest end, and see if that works out a little bit better. Uh, oh, we've got our spaceport ready to go, which is nice. So we'll put a dock uh, right in the corner, ish, uh, and then let's put some. Some nice, uh, nice, uh, banners and other things down here. Spruce up the place a bit. Put a banner over here. And maybe a video column here. All right, just, uh, just give it a little, a little dude, a little space. Um, and then over here, we'll go back to the bar. We'll say dance floor here since they've removed the one. And then after they build that one, we'll build the second one. And then they're almost finished with the um, boutique here. So I can start putting down some things. Let's put some put a clothes rack here. And a jewel station there right next to it. And then we'll put a mannequin on this side spruce up the place and then once they're finished we can put another clothes rack there and then we'll put some mannequins on on the on the far wall some different ones like is this like I'm just noticing now this looks a little bit like a like a Kerbal <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or if that's just just because it matches this this look and feel but it kind of looks a little bit like a Kerbal from Kerbal Space Program uh, and yeah, let's put the other clothing rack there. And then pretty soon my guys will catch up and do the next parts. All right, so we got the dance floor, the one portion of the dance floor down. So we'll put the next portion down too. Give them all, all the work to do. Yeah, he's almost finished over here. Excellent. All right, so now we can jump back to that and put our little... Put our Kerbal down there. there. Very good. And then he's working on the uh, car door there. Excellent. All right, let's put the walls back up and see what we've got so far. I didn't put the walls back up. Let's put the walls back up. There we go. So we have so far. It's not bad. I mean, I'm trying to get everything into this one. I'm trying to fit everything into small sections that I that would make it. A short distance to go to everywhere that you need to go to so hopefully that uh, that will work out a little bit better we'll get our our satisfaction rating up maybe if, if more people use this one I could shut down some of these other ports I suppose and try to force them to use that one but I'll just let it I'll just let it naturally take take shape right now and then we'll see what we've got because we've got a huge freaking station and again um, you know people who land here from what I understand from the way the codes written people who land here Will, may not choose the closest thing. They may end up walking all the way across the station for something, and that was uh, by design. So, uh, speaking of which, let's look at uh, our our guys here now. Our engineer needs a bunch of health because he's not doing so. He's got seventy seven thirteen max health. I don't know why he was taking so much damage, but what do we got? Here? Whoa! 17,499. What? From up from 77. This is a 25 passive on normal to a 27 passive on hard. Really? <laughs> Holy crap. 14,148. Whoa. That's a huge jump. Yes, please. All right. So he's got that fusion missile. And I don't like the flamethrower. Uh, who else needs a lot of health? You've got 9145. You're actually not doing too bad. You've got the big one. You've got 83, 85, 83. Um, 
I would say, normally I would say the doctor could take some, so that the doctor's always there to heal people. But, mm, yeah, yeah, let's give the doctor this, this health there. So 14,148, huge jump up there. All right, good. So the rest can be recycled for some resources. Uh, auto pick, recycle. All right, unload. Excellent. All right. So uh, now we got all this flushed out, and these guys are still working hard at that. Let's look at uh, let's get our uh, loot in here from these guys. He's up to level 22 now. Excellent. And this one was also a success. Very good. Uh, anything else here? Ooh, that's going to be a rough one. 21, that's WTF mode? Nope. But 22 will be good for SG2. It's right on their level. Get on their level, as it were. And start them off on that. And then I guess the typical abundance. Since, uh, well, algae is not really something we need that much of right now. Uh, diplomatic abundance, that's going to be rough for them. I don't even think I have a diplomat, do I? In SG3? Yeah, I do. I wonder if this... Uh, let's try it. Because you get an extra for, for the diplomat on there. Well, I actually have two diplomats on there. I did not realize that. This might actually... This might actually work. I, <laughs> that'll be that'll be a thing. 42%. Well, you know what? Let's try it because we can get... 450 gems out of it. So we'll do that. And then uh, we will send SG-1 out to the next quest mission to unlock level 28. And this one is the Hive Nest. All right, we get some platinum for our troubles too. Okay. Let's see what the Hive Nest has in store for us. Headquarters has finally decided it is time to do something about those hive mind weirdos. We have identified this planet as a common destination for many of them. They just crash land here on stolen shuttles and wander around. Try to discover what's going on. All right, damn hive minds. They've been around since level one. Need to need to make these guys pay for all the <laughs> for all the extra power we've had to expend killing them. <laughs> well, there's a lot of different guys on here actually. Oh, these are all dis disciples. <laughs> oh, so the hive mind crashed, landed on here, and they just they just took control of a bunch of people and made them uh, made them part of the collective. Oh, that's interesting. The hive mind are now the Borg. All right, Look at all these weird gems too, just coming out of this out of the ground. Uh, all right, what does this guy have to say? Do you feel them too? The fibers in your mind, your body, taking over, slowly. Um, yeah, oh, oh, yes, yes, we do. Ooh, this feels good, doesn't it, guys? There is no self, there is no ego, there is only the hive. We are ascending, ascend with us. Ascend? Oh, uh, yes, uh, I guess. Um, what now? Join us or die. E. Well, I guess, uh, I think you meant the other way. Join us and die, possibly. Oh, look at that. That's all. I just noticed that that shell's all melted into the, <laughs> into the ground there. That's pretty funny. Yeah, hive mind and all that stuff. These guys are... Those are kind of pushovers, actually. I'm surprised that this is... <laughs> I'm surprised that this is level 27, honestly. Uh, talk to the leader. Take me to your leader, hive minders. Borg. Bastards. Resistance is futile on my ass. <laughs> my ass resistance is futile. Uh, okay, before we do that, let's get our power situation back up. All right, very good. That recharge I've got is awesome. Yeah, all these guys are just kind of listless, just walking around, not knowing what they're doing. All right. You don't understand. This is a beautiful gift. 
Give up your flesh to the hive. Make your minds into one. Okay, okay. We know how this goes by now. Before you go all creepy on us, is there a chance you can explain what it is you want? The hive is infinite. It is unavoidable. It will be everything. It will never end. Stop suffering in your inferior existence. Ascend with us. <laughs> Officers, set your phasers to dumb, stupid enemies not making sense. Which is just below the setting for slightly smart, stupid aliens that kind of make sense, uh, but only to lesser beings. Yeah, my phasers come with several thousand settings, in case you're wondering. Alright, we shall kill all the things. Kill them all until they're dead. And then kill them some more after they're dead. Just to be sure. Well, before we leave, we'll nuke this place from orbit. Don't want to make sure, we don't want any of them to, to remain, to, to keep the spirit alive. This is not... <laughs> this is not the kind of spirit we want in our galaxy. <laughs> Talk to the leader again. Alright, let's do that. Come on up here. And heal and get energy as well. Alright, got another group over here. So leader guy. Oh you you've changed you've changed form, leader guy. Alright, what's what's your what's your major malfunction here? Our power grows every second. Hundreds, thousands every hour find us, seek us, become one with us. Listen, dude, we get it. It's a hive mind. We know how it works. But even a thing as dumb as that still has some kind of purpose. Tell us, so maybe we can start talking instead of wasting lives. You will soon understand if you are worthy. We will? We, uh, <laughs> prove it! <laughs> okay. Two right there. Oh, that was awesome. I loved every minute of that of that bomb that, that we jumped off there. Uh, two. Come on, one second. There we go. Yes. Yes. That is the way it is, it is supposed to go. And my health of my one guy is really bad right now. Right, let's make sure we get all our energy and our health back up before we do anything stupid here. Don't want any of my guys to fall prey to the hive mind and become become one with the with the uh, the hive, I guess. <laughs> become I don't want them joining Unimatrix Zero, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> as as pleasant as as that sounded or looked, it was uh, it was quite not it was quite the opposite. Especially when the Borg Queen found it, then it was that was a whole lot of of terribleness. Oh hey, we've got a, a little a little gray alien here who's who apparently crash landed very very many years ago. <laughs> what is his name? Bagelhead. <laughs> First one in many many years. A bagelhead. Yes, miserable creatures. <laughs> a bagelhead. You kids, stop me. Your weaponists don't hurt me. Meh. Don't hurt me. <laughs> All of your kind were bake baconized centuries ago in the Bagel Wars. This can't be. Paintus screeches. Your feeble minds snap like a twig is under my powers. Your kindness have grown complacent and stupidish. I can take as much minds as I want. Yes. <laughs> uh, I can only imagine. I have the window open. I can only imagine what the what the neighbors are thinking right now. <laughs> we will bake you, even if it's the last thing we do in our lives. Um. Perhaps the second to last thing we do in our lives. Let's not let's not throw everything out the window right now. 
I won't be a big sister. <laughs> Coward. Ah, uh, ah, uh, a bagel head. No, this is horrible. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> Bravo, devs. Bravo. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And we have unlocked level 28 here. Twa, twan, twanla, twanla. Uh, and it's pretty much all the same things we've seen already as far as resources go. Some more helium, though. That is seems to be the thing that we are running mostly low on. Uh, speaking of which, we did this guy over here, and I didn't actually grab any of the resources that I needed. So we shall do that right now. And some of these will be nice too, I guess. Don't really need any more platinum or anything right now. Uh, so that was that. And then over here, we shall take the gems and the microbes. Very good. And then I'll come back and, and do the rest later. Uh, or grab the rest of those resources later once I've gotten some more some more credits to my to my name. I've got plenty right now, but it's, you know, just, just want to make sure I don't run low at any point in time. Also, we have a bunch of... Uh, Things that have been completed. That was a success, ordinary learning. Okay. Diplomatic abundance was also a success. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Everything is coming up Millhouse today, my friends. Everything is coming up Millhouse. All right. Cool. So, uh, one more thing before we before we part ways. Let's uh, upgrade my my people here before I forget. So, Engineer, you... Uh, ooh, can you get another fusion missile? You can get a regular missile. Which... Yeah, it's got lower range. Longer cooldown. Does a, takes a lot more energy, but does a lot more damage. Um, sure. Sure. We'll do that. Uh, and then I'll, I'm not going to give him another ray gun for right now. Um, extra health. What do we got here for the health? 11,669. 9728. I'll give my engineer, uh, the 9728, I'd say. And we'll give the diplomat the higher one, 11,669. Also, beam gun goes to a ray gun for more power. Excellent. And I I think that's about all that we've got there. So let's go right back really quick and recycle those. If I can find my recycling things. <laughs> After all this time, I'm, I'm starting to lose track of where everything's at. Oh, here it is. Here's my storage area. The one and only storage area in, in my whole place. Um, so auto pick and recycle. Uh, unload. I think that other one's not any good. Recycle. Get some helium out of it. Excellent. All right. So I think that will just about do it for this episode of The Spatials. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.